How did you, oh, you missed my slide whistle. I did. There you go. It's a perfect way to kick this off. <laughs> so, uh, Archer, I mean, I've loved the show since it launched. It's crazy to see how Thank far you. It's you grew up with it, it seems. Uh, You're a child in my eyes. Seven, right? Roughly? Something like that. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever 13 years ago was. 2009. So, okay. Yeah, that sounds right. I was a teenager. <laughs> 2009. There you go. Right? Prime Archer age. But um, at the uh, yeah, exactly. Perfect, perfect viewership for it. Yeah. But um, it's it's amazing that it's still going on. I mean, how does it feel for you coming into season 13? Uh, you know, it's, uh, every episode is a blessing. So uh, y- y- the fact that we're still going 13 years later, I don't know that anyone was expecting, but the show is still great. Um, it's still it's more bonkers than ever i would say now uh it's really all the characters are at their most them uh it's really awesome so it's great to see that the show has progressed and the characters have progressed and you know we're like america's favorite dysfunctional spy family oh absolutely (laughs) <laughs> and uh, you you've progressed while also staying the same it's perfect <laughs> yeah exactly i mean it's a metaphor for life right you are who you are and uh, the, those characters are who they are and they, even though if they can try to do better oh but it, they're still them <laughs> indeed <laughs> so what is it then you feel uh about the show just you know continues to resonate and remain as popular as it has over the years. Well, I think, you know, what we just talked about is that it it's not afraid to progress uh, with the rest of the world. Uh, I mean, <laughs> once upon a time, we worked for an organization called ISIS. Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> We're always like a step, not even three quarters of a step ahead of the world on our show. Uh, that's not true at all, but, uh, we're not afraid to, uh, you know, progress along with, uh, the zeitgeist while remaining true to who we are. Uh, and it also being like really funny. The writers are really amazing. So the, the scripts are just super duper. Casey Willis is knocking it out of the park as, uh, the showrunner. And I mean, it, all it everything's firing as as well as it ever has so you know why stop the train how has it felt differently for you than uh having casey at the helm in comparison to adam after you know 10 seasons casey and i are like super close buds in real life uh and not that adam and i aren't but uh we live in separate states so uh you know it it cuts down on the hangout time per year uh, but so going to work is really like, you know, I go hang out with my buddy Casey during a work week for a work thing for a while. And then I go home. <laughs> it's, it's great. I really am living the perfect life. It's wild. And it's all thanks to Archer. Thanks, Archer. <laughs> Please don't ever go away. Well, and with that said, I mean, the show, you know, Adam had discussed leaving at least the showrunner position after 10, and yep. we've still got it going on now. I mean, how far do you think this could, this show has? In- I don't know that. I mean, as long as espionage always exists <laughs> and political intrigue, I don't think that's going away anytime soon. So, uh, you know, we've got, how long's Bond been going on? By the way, Daniel Craig loves this show. So it's like we've been kissed by the Pope, as far as I'm concerned. Does he? I, I don't think I've ever Oh, yeah, he's a before. huge fan. He, he visited the studio when he was in town shooting some movie or other. Uh, and they did like his rep called the studio just to go like, so Daniel Craig is a huge Archer fan and he wants to tour the studio where you make it. And everybody went scrambling and made the place ready and all that. Yeah. And he loves it. That's awesome. That's yeah. uh, that, like you say, if there's anybody you want a ringing uh, endorsement from, it's him. <laughs> yeah. And so, you know, how long's that been going on? How long's Dr. Who been going on? 
you know, you could have yeah. said, how many seasons really do you have about a spaceman that travels around in a police call box that don't even exist anymore? <laughs> You're not wrong. So in a, that sense, a companion of the season, I'd have given it a half a season at best. <laughs> Well, uh, I would love to see more of Archer then. Yeah, me uh, too. Speaking of, I got a Doctor Who S. Krieger spinoff waiting to go. Oh, do you now? Sure. I mean, hey, you I bet. love Krieger, so I would be down. <laughs> but it's the thing. I'm really playing off the time that the aliens in Area 51 gave Krieger and Pam the secrets to the universe. I think there, there could be a great awakening at some point of that information and Krieger could build a space van. It's called space van and it's Krieger and Pam doing the doctor who thing in a space van. And the space vans. AI is Krieger's hologram girlfriend. But of course <laughs> you can't, oh. can't have any kind of technology without her. So it's really Krieger and the ladies and they're both against him. <laughs> well, I'll be curious to see what comes first, that or Poopy Farms. Because grew up, Amber wants Poopy yeah. Farms as well. So <laughs> I know, but like Amber, Amber's got a real clumps thing going on with that. It's brilliant where she plays like all the poovies. It's that's hilarious. what she was saying, and that sounds both <laughs> ideas sound fun. So who knows? Maybe um, uh, you know, you throw things out. You know, you never know which one they're going to go. Yeah, that one's good. So I loved in season 12, the dynamic that Krieger had with Eric Andre's character, especially yes. as it got towards the end. Cold. And it, Colt, exactly. And so I'm curious, do we, can we see more of that dynamic with any other characters coming into this season since Colt sadly met his end at the end of 12? I, you know, I don't recall Krieger getting too buddy buddy with anybody this season only because they're all and not that Krieger is ever really considered to be like a, a, an option for who's going to lead this group uh, but everybody is sort of competing with one another and so there's not any like they there is camaraderie they of course work together but they're also you know in competition with one another for something Uh and we recorded out of order and really sp spaced apart. So I don't remember him being so I don't remember big emotional moments like I had when our sweet Colt <laughs> died what? in Krieger's yeah, that, arms. <laughs> that was a bummer. <laughs> yeah. I will say that uh, Krieger, uh, you know, he does follow up on the promise to do weird science shit. Well, the, no, the that's what we want. Shit that nobody else will do. <laughs> that's that's all we want from Krieger. Yeah, and so if there's anything, he's making good on his promise. <laughs> so um, with that said then, though, this season did also mark the first one that we've had without Jessica. Yeah. And how yeah, is that for goal. you? Uh, that I mean, you know, yeah, what can you do? Life goes on. The thing I love about it, I mean, Jessica and I absolutely adored one another. Um, and one of the biggest reasons is because we're both old theater people. Uh, you know, I have a theater degree. Uh, and so uh, we just get that. And, you know, the the show must go on attitude is very much a part of the whole situation and that you just lose people along the way. And so it's devastating. But uh, I think as far as us using it in the show, again, we're not afraid to, you know, go after sort of. Uh, tackle modern day things that are going on. And so it's Archer's is dealing with the fact that his mother just upped and split on him in the show. Uh, and so, you know, you, you use it. Uh, and I think Jessica would be really proud of us. And so, you know, I just sort of carry that along with us that I think she would love what we're doing with the show. I couldn't agree more. I think she would as well. And that season 12 finale, I mean, I just finally caught it the other day and just. Oh, yeah, like it's a killer. Falling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's amazing. So uh, speaking of the future of the show, though, uh, I've talked with John and Amber about it as well. But I'm curious what your thoughts are on a possible Archer movie that we keep hearing on and off throughout. the mm, mm, I, You know, what did Mr. Movie Star say? You know, now that he's he's throwing movies out there. Now that the, he's got Bob. What do I movie. know? From an Archer, <laughs> of course, I want an Archer movie. Uh, I, you know, you don't have to be rated R. 
well, and really, you know, you you got to get everybody to like be all in. Like, yeah, let's do this. You're gonna have for fi- for crying out loud. We're gonna have to really see Archer and Lana going down at some point. <laughs> Getting busy. We got a peak of it. Pretty grit, pretty gritty in one season, but you know, we're going to rate an R movie. Might as well go full R. Watch out, Watch out for Pam Page. That's all I'm saying. There's gonna be uh, a male yeah. full frontal. <laughs> cartoon male full frontal during Pam Page. Well, God forbid whatever creature <laughs> the is the world screen. ready for that man? Do you think? <laughs> I I know I am. I don't know about the world. What are we gonna but... do? Soften it? <laughs> no, you can't. No, if we're gonna do a movie, you can go all in. <laughs> so would you? So I mean, there have been ideas of whether or not to bring it to live action or animated. Obviously, Bob's Burgers stuck to animation. So I mean, would you prefer it be animated over? Of a course. Live well, I mean, as soon as it goes to live action, we're all out of jobs. <laughs> what are you talking about? They're not gonna hire me. I'm suddenly I'm watching something where I'm like, oh, mm, mm, it would have been cool if I was in that. So fuck live action. It's got to be a cartoon. <laughs> I don't know. My pitch is if you do live action. Your pitch is that it wouldn't be Archer. Well, hang on. The man delivering the lines John. that isn't John is just isn't going to be Archer. My Anybody pitch is acting screwball that isn't Judy <laughs> doing Cheryl isn't I mean Cheryl I, Judy could play Cheryl in line. That's the thing. Aisha and Judy, they're safe. <laughs> the rest of us, no, so is Parnell. Parnell's safe too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The rest of us, I'm screwed. My pitch is get John Ham uh to play Archer and then just have John dub over ham <laughs> only if they can do it live while it's being shot like they did sort of when they did the lay Miz thing where you're just like no you're just gonna sing the songs and we're recording that with that, that <laughs> going into the studio later so as long as john's offset doing it live on a mic and we're see- like what we get is the best take they had of ham trying to keep up with john then yes that would be pretty amazing. <laughs> I also, I'm going to have to do it because Eric Andre will probably end up playing Krieger. And then, and then what am I? Then what am I? I'm going to be Colt. They're not even going to let me be Colt. No, we know we got to have, no. we got to have Colt and Krieger together. If anything, again, <laughs> yeah, right. Um, so what would you like to see come from Krieger going into the future of the show? Since we've talked about you it's guys slowly been, progressing. Been. What do you want? The space van, but like as far even out even outside of the space van in in mm. the show itself, what would you like to see more of from Krieger? Oh, I mean, Krieger is one of those things that I don't know that you ever really want to see more of what's going on there. I mean, you do, but do you? Uh, yeah, I, I, as far as him i would love little tastes of of him dealing with the underbelly of dark science and where he gets pieces and parts and bodies and and stuff like that i think little dabs of that would be fun um but also i would love him to build a giant robot to protect the city from any possible kaiju (laughs) that might just come out of the ocean we don't know it could happen. And, and then all the gang, the it would be like a Voltron-esque robot, you see, where each member of the team would have their own separate vehicle that would then form a giant robot. I'm down. That Let's Archer see. is piloting the head. Pitch it to Casey. <laughs> oh, I don't think I haven't. They just roll their eyes. <laughs> I have to take it to the press. <laughs> well, okay, the press has got it. I'll put it out there. Yeah, great. Um, get the people excited. <laughs> you know how it works today. I'm gonna get them likes and hits. Exactly. Go go full uh go full release the Snyder Cup movement. Get That's the, it, man. Release Hashtag the Krieger 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 Krieger. Krieger. <laughs> 
Um, Hashtag release the Krieger Kaiju. Bad there you go. Robot. <laughs> well, before I let you go, uh, I, you know, I, I've seen the first four episodes and they're already super funny. I love mm. the, the return to the episodic adventures. But what has been one of your favorite things about this season uh, so far? It really that it like the characters are their most balls out them uh, all throughout it. It's great. Like it, it's. I hesitate to use the word zany because we're not really a zany show, but we really walk a fine line of shit gets zany this year. Uh, I love it. I think it's awesome. Uh, Yeah, it's really great. And people should be really excited. The show's in great hands. I couldn't agree more, man. It's I, I again, I love what I've seen so far. I can't wait to see what zaniness we can look forward to. <laughs> Watch me eat my words. I'm like, they cut out all the zaniness. <laughs> I remember zaniness. <laughs> well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, but, we're going to have to check it out. Well, thank you, Lucky, so much. Hey, you got it, buddy. Chat. I, I greatly appreciate it as a fan of the show, as well as just for Screen Rant. Hey, right on. Thank you. Absolutely. Have a good rest of your week. Thanks, you too.